Hey, what's going on guys? This is Alex from LRTech and today we have Ford Finney 8i 2014 and we will be replacing the rear brake pads and sensor. This procedure would be pretty much the same for any BMWs that are not equipped with M Sport brakes or electrical parking brake, such as E46, E90, F Series, uh, X1, X3, X5, uh, for any of them it would be the same. I will be using Techstar brake pads, uh, it's an OEM brand um, as well as Jurid, I also recommend it. I'll leave the links in the description below so you can find the part that fits for your vehicle. First thing first, we have to loosen the lug bolts. Lift up the car. Don't forget about jack sense, it's your safety. The next step is removing this clamp. All you need to do is to squeeze the screwdriver. and remove the clip. There are three ways how to compress the caliper. First way is using a um, brake caliper uh, compressor tool. Second way you can use just regular C-clamp. And third way, uh, the fastest way is uh, using a screwdriver. I usually start pushing the caliper from the back and then just carefully and gently squeeze uh, screwdriver uh, between uh, the rotor and the brake pad. That's it. There are two bolts holding the caliper in place and it's kind of difficult to show you. Uh, one is on the top and one on the bottom using 8 millimeter allen key losing them The first one, I'll take the wrench. This is the bottom one, this is the top one. And now we can leave the caliper right here. Time to clean the bracket. Apply some grease. Not too much, just a little. There is only one brake pad wear sensor and it is located on the passenger side of the vehicle. Here it is. Just need to pull it out. And now 
we can remove the brake pad. Simply take it out. That's it. And one brake pod on the outside of the brake rotor. Put back the bolts. and tighten them It. And sensor replace the sensor. Uh, all we need to do is uh, to take uh, the cable from the clips. For some of them you can use peak tool or screwdriver. we go and take out this 10 millimeter nut here's the connector Squeeze it and remove it. Let's put the new one back. goes up right here right here right there then you have to slide the sensor into the brake pad the way you do it you just slide it from here yep that's it the next step is to install the brake caliper clip the way you do it just locate it like that and then push it easy After you finish with the other side, you have to take a seat 
and push the brake pedal until it gets hard. This is how to reset brake pod service interval on this car. You turn on the ignition. Don't forget to leave the door open. Then, when the all signs are gone, you press this button and hold. You will see the menu, reset is possible. You push it again and hold. Reset, push it again and hold. That's it guys, I hope this information was helpful. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe for more videos and save this video for later. Thank you one more time and have a good day. Bye.